The new patch is here and with that a lot of scans as well. And I'm gonna show you all of them and how they look and how to get them. Subscribe to the channel for more content on this. Go to my coffee if you want to support me. And let's get into it. So, most of these skins are from the Wizard's Vault, first of all. We can talk about those first. Uh, they look pretty good. We have the new... Well, you can get them all here. You have the skimmer, the new skimmer here that I have. It looks exactly more or less like the Gryphon one that we got uh, last time. You have the little orbs, you can dye it. It usually would look like this before dying. Let me just... Um, Go to mount and show the fault dice, and you're gonna be able to see here how it usually looks. Now I change it because I like this color because I'm a warrior, but you can change it however you want. You can change the colors of the particle effects and of course the balls as well. You also have the new Sky Sage set that you can see right here. I'm wearing it right now, the full Sky Sage set with the cape. The colors are maybe not the best, uh, but I wanted to make it work with the uh, new weapons as well, the Astro. Uh, weapons, you can see it right here. I have it. Doesn't have an air particle effect, but have a different color of the Astrolove uh, previous um, weapons, right? You have one for each, and they cost you around 150 Astro claim to get each time. There's gonna be a lot of them, so you're gonna have to grind a bit of Wasser's Vault in order to get all of them. They look pretty cool, though. I really like this uh, this idea. You know, the little things, um, the little balls just going around the weapon. They look pretty cool, so. And rotating. I think the animation is pretty, pretty cool. And yeah, I mean, they did in some way, I guess, uh, reuse the one that we got last time, but it's a different color and weapons cannot be dyed, so I think it's a good compromise, right? Uh, we also have a new mount. Oh no, I already talked about that weapons. Okay. Oh, we also got a new Black Lion ticket uh, weapon set. Uh, you can see here, I already have it. Uh, they have the Shadow Chevalier skins. They're actually pretty expensive in the training post around right now. They're like 40 gold. So I'm not sure if I would recommend buying them with that. I would just complete a cheaper Black Lion ticket uh, collections to get the Black Lion tickets to use. Uh, as if you guys don't know, when you complete any Black Lion collection, you'll get seven of these tickets. So if you get three of them, you know, you'll be able to get this ones for free. Or you can use them to sell other uh, oh, this weapons for a bit of gold and recover the gold um, the gold that you spent in the other weapons. So definitely something con to consider. I don't I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan of this weapons. They don't have a particle. Eff I mean they don't have a trail, but they do have a particle effect that looks kind of cool. So I guess it's just subjective at that point. Uh, we also have oh let me just go back to the wizard's vault. We also have the axe of destiny that you can get from the new meta. <coughs> Only for the new meta, by the way. Um, or if you, oh yeah, you actually need an achievement beforehand. Like, let me just show it to you. If you go to this vendor here that you require, I already made a video about it. If you, uh, you must have the Wayfinder's Mastery to see this vendor. But if you go to this vendor, you're gonna see a few of the new uh, skins that you can get from this patch. The Axe of Destiny, in order to do it, you need the Neos new Mastery, Neos Mastery 3 to, me, to be able to purchase it. It probably will cost you a bit, a big amount of, um, a big amount of um, calcified gasps to get it, uh, but it's a pretty cool weapon. You can see it right here. It's a new one as well, and I'm pretty sure it drops from the meta as well. The new meta. It would be nice if it loaded though, uh, but it will load. Uh, yeah, the same thing goes for the Midnight King back piece. You can get it from the new meta, but you can also buy it with 10,000 calcified gasps, which is a lot. I really like this change. Uh, look at this weapon, guys. It looks pretty cool. I think uh, pretty chill, but it looks pretty nice. Yes, cool little uh, colors. Um, I really like this change though that not only, and look at this backpack, oh my god, it looks beautiful, absolutely great. The colors maybe not so much, but you can dye it however you want, by the way. This is not the default color of the of the backpack. Uh, but yeah, I really like the fact that now you can actually purchase this ones uh, or get them from the meta. You don't have to grind it every, every day for a very specific small uh, drop rate. You can just do it every day, but also get the uh, currencies and eventually buy them. And this applies to the rest of the... Um, Expansion skins as well, which I think is very, very cool. Uh, we also have Mini Epic, Mini Pathan, Mini Sakura's Wyvern, and Endless Mystery Cryptus Tonic. This is all new. Mini Epic, you get it from uh, completing the Internet's Mastery th th 3 and then buying it th here for probably an Amalgamated Cryptus Essence. Mini Pathan, you get it from the whole, doing the whole story. Oh, wait, one second. Yes, you get it from the whole. Uh, doing the whole story, uh, Mini Petha. And Mini Sector's Wyvern, you get it from doing the uh, Convergence CMs achievements uh, and get gold on every one of them. Now, I will be running this um, almost every day, uh, probably, um, in my Discord. So if you want to join in for some gold 
Convergence DMs, go to my Discord in the description down below and join in. We'll be advertising there every time. Um, we also can get the Endless uh, Mystery Cryptostonic that makes you look like a little, you know, like this little guy. And in order to do this, you need to do the Missing Brood Collection, which will give you a title as well and 10 points. I haven't done this yet, and I'm guessing that it's going to have some type of lore associated to it. So I think I'm really excited to, I'm going to do this one uh, for sure. So I can see if I can, you know, maybe get some hints on when the next expansion is coming. And the Sekiro's Wyvern and Mini Paytha Mini Epic. I mean, look, it's just the little Wyvern uh, there. It's Paytha and it's Epic. You know, it's just, that's, that's what it is. You know, if you like them, you can get them. If you don't, and don't get them. Okay, there, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's about it. Um, now we also got the new Obsidian Armor. Um, tier 2. You need, of course, the Tier 1 first to do it. To get it, uh, you're going to have to unlock the Wayfinder Mastery that we talked about before. And talk to the Junior Archivist Aide Connery. Give them some currencies to get yourself the collections uh, unlocked. And then you're going to be able to uh, do this specific achievements. Um to unlock the pieces and you can also once a day skip a few of these achievements with this um by paying vials of might and magic and obsidian shards now i actually don't like this and i have a whole video about this in you know in my channel if you want to go check it but that's how you get them and if you want to see how they look just go to your you know just go to your um to your bank go to your ward of storage check for obsidian there you go, the obsidian, and you can see the whole, uh, you know, the full set. Uh, well, actually, I'm just, let me go for, you know, there we go. You can check the whole set to see if you want to get them. And you can check, of course, the version, uh, the new version and the old version as well. This is the new version. You can see how it'll pop, it'll pop off and you'll get some beautiful colors as well. Uh, if you don't like this, you can stay with the normal one, of course. And not upgrade it, but I personally think it looks pretty okay. I know a lot of people complain about the colors, I mean the, the particle effects on them. Um, but I don't really care. I mean, these colors are kind of fucked, to be honest. So I'm just going to re-put them here because uh, those colors are disgusting. These ones are also disgusting. You, 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 if you want to pre-watch pre, uh, this, you should definitely get a, a set with good colors first so it doesn't look... You know, like this, okay? Like, <laughs> let me try it again, because this is... Why am I die so horrible in this set? There you go, that's much better. I bet, at least. That looks a bit better, uh, but there you go, yeah? And then, of course, the heavy one uh, as well for Obsidian Armor. Now, it is actually kind of interesting that they actually made you have three... Cho you have three choices of the ones that you want. You can get the ones with the whole glow and the particle effect. Or you can have it just um, the tier 2 with a normal effect that you can see the gems being socked out there and those colors being there. But you can just do, choose this version, the Sumbling Suffused Suf version, uh, where it doesn't have the particle effects, if you so much desire that, right? So you can get whatever you want. And honestly, I think it's a very good thing that they... they um, they let you decide because some people don't like this amount of insanity but if you have the um the other one with just the colors it still you know it still will represent that you did the whole collection so uh, pretty cool in that regard uh next we also have the gemstone new items two that we got this week and a few of them that we're gonna get next week's uh wolf griffin i think it looks pretty cool uh where is it we got a lot of skins in the gems to run out, so it's a bit hard. There we go. Wolf Griffin skin, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I love wolves, and I love griffins. And it's probably something that I would get if I wasn't poor right now in terms of gold. Um, it looks pretty, pretty cool, and I'm sure that a lot of people are going to get it. Uh, and we also got the glider, the cloud glider. I guess if you want to look like like Goku a little bit. Well, I guess it's the other way around. It's on the top of you. It's not really on the bottom of you. But look, it looks pretty cool, I think. The particle effect is pretty nice. You can dye it, of course. Uh, I think this is awesome. Uh, very, very cool, and they have the air particle effects. And it's only 500 gems, not that expensive. Uh, considering the wolf is 1600, so if you want to get it, might as well. Uh, we also get two more skins that we're going to get uh, next <coughs> next week. So I'm just going to... There we go. Oh, wait. Let me just... I want to whisper myself. There we go. We got the raven legging skins. Those are the raven uh, skins, uh, the pants. Uh, they look pretty interesting. They have like uh, feathers in uh, in the pants. I think it looks pretty cool. 
and of course we're also gonna get the best of the the raven best as well that will look like this so i'm excited to see uh, how much they cost and uh, they look pretty nice though um and hopefully excited to get them as well and uh, they're gonna be in the gems of course uh so we'll see but i think they look pretty nice and uh yeah i mean there you go that's what we're gonna get ne get next week uh oh i also forgot about one thing one little uh, last thing we also got a new chair uh, in the black line chest. Now you're gonna have to you get some keys in order to do this, in order to get this, which is a pretty cool chair. You can actually have multiple people in each of the um, chairs. You got one, two, three people. One, you know, one will, will be yourself and two other people afterwards. And it looks like a little council. Uh, I think some people were actually role playing in Divinity's Reach and putting this one in particular in the middle of, uh, of the plaza. And just, you know, putting multiple of these chairs to make it look like it's a huge council of people. The Divinity's Reach Council, which I think it's it's pretty cool. I'm sure that they're not there right now. Uh, but look, it looks pretty cool. I think I saw it on Reddit. So, you know, hey, some cool, cool skins to, uh, this week with this patch. Um, I guess it's not the biggest patch in terms of skin, but it's it's a good amount of things to to get and to strive for. So definitely tell me which ones you like, which ones you're going to go for. And... Subscribe to the channel for more content on this. Go to my coffee if you want to support me. And see you guys around. Love you all. Bye-bye.